Brussels is planning to sanction EU countries who fail to cooperate towards creating a pan-European airspace. In a bid to eliminate fragmentation and increase efficiency, the European Commission launched the so-called European Single Sky Plan over 10 years ago. It aimed at condensating 27 national airspaces into nine blocks. But member states are nowhere near meeting their targets. Where do we stand today? Firstly, the performance scheme, which is essential for the single sky to become a reality and success. We made clear that countries differed widely in their efforts in making the recommended changes needed. This is the only way for airspace users to benefit from higher cost efficiency, safety and capacity, as well as a positive impact on the environment. With EU airspace currently divided into over 600 sections and managed by 27 national systems, planes are forced to take longer routes. According to the Commission, this fragmentation causes serious delays for passengers, an increase of airline ticket prices and extra emissions. Within 10 years, the air navigation cost of an average flight in Europe should have fallen from its 800 euro starting point to 600 euro, not the 715 it is today. So if member states continue to fail to deliver, who suffers? Passengers, businesses and the European economy. The Commission estimates that this fragmentation amounts to around 5 billion euros a year of extra costs. Air traffic control currently represents between 6 and 12% of the price of a plane ticket.